Well, how do the chums? Now, I'm being asked a fair few questions around when I think there might be another update to No Man's Sky. When I think there might be, you know, Worlds Part 2 and all that sort of shenanigans coming into the verse. So, I figured I'd, I'd address that, people, in this video. So, above Johnny Five's Quicksilver store is this bar. And that normally gives an indication that when we've run out of Quicksilver items that are yet to come. But um, sadly, that's not ticking over until this expedition ends. So you're probably thinking, well, when does the expedition end? I mean, I've already ended my expedition. Well, people can still run the expedition. So if we go back out to the main title screen, we can see how long this expedition is going to take. And you do that by going out to here, hit new game, then you hover over here. Now it says three weeks remaining. And you can see that in the small text at the bottom there, three more weeks. So after those three weeks, then we should see the next quick silver items pop into the store. Now, I have got the No Man's Sky Assistant app right here, and that actually shows what's coming next, and it can give you a rough idea of how long we might have to wait. So here you go, here's the No Man's Sky Assistant app. You've got all these lovely tiles. You want the community mission tile. You can see there, the current one is at 5-5, five five. you know, it's completed. But if you hit next community research mission, you can see there, we've got three more posters to go. Then after those, We've got some fireworks and that is it so there's six more items in there now if you worst case scenario if you say that each item is going to take roughly four days i mean and you've got what six items so four times six that gives you a rough idea of how long we're going to have to wait on this so it could be that we're not going to see the Quicksilver store needing a replenishment for a little while. And you usually find that big updates usually coincide with when the Quicksilver item store gets low. But it's not a actual math. Not really. Not essentially. There's also the fact that Hello Games likes to put out an expedition each season. You know, there's only, what, four seasons to the year, isn't there, really? So, yeah. I kind of think if I had to put money where my mouth is. So, chums, the expedition, I think, is going to take all the way up to the first week of September, the current expedition. And I think that when that comes to an end, I think at that point, we're probably going to see maybe a week before the new Quicksilver items start ticking over the posters. And I think with those posters on the bake and out there, I think they might then release Worlds Part 2. Okay, so Worlds Part 2 I think will drop with a hint that there's going to be an expedition. I think we're going to get those posters, and once those posters ends, then we get another expedition that is kind of Worlds Part 2 aligned. And I think that will happen about mid to late September, another expedition. But Worlds Part 2, I think, will probably drop maybe the first week of September is what I'm thinking almost immediately after this expedition ends and as the posters tick over and come into iteration but then I think that the expedition will run from September like mid to late September all the way up to Halloween and then I think at Halloween I think we're probably going to get a small update like a synthesis sort of size update or something a little prisms update or desolation will probably be a better example because i think that world's part two is going to set the foundations and the next expedition is going to set foundations for the end of the arg part four which i think is going to be a full-blown thing around the void mother and I think because the Void Mother is quite creepy and you've got the Abyss type stuff happening, maybe even Deeper Oceans happening in Worlds Part 2, I kind of think that we're going to get something a little bit more gnarly. Something like Desolation, Cross with the Abyss update in Halloween of this year. I think we're going to get something a little bit more creepy. Hello Games in the past has said they like to celebrate the creepiness of No Man's Sky around Halloween. And what better way to do that would be to deliver in some Void Mother lore and a massive story chunk. I'm really hoping 
that we get to go and rescue Ariadne from this dark freighter, from the void that resides between planets. Considering now putting in purple planets, or purple systems, that actually deliver in a void between realms, kind of suggests to me that that would be on the cards. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll probably get a Worlds Part 2, start of September to mid-September, followed by an expedition that takes us from mid to late September all the way up to Halloween. And then I think we're going to get some sort of Halloween-y type update that's pretty darn gnarly. And then that means that those fireworks are going to be delayed until around about November time, which here in the UK is Guy Fawkes Bonfire Night, where we let off fireworks. Okay, so that's the timeline that's in my head. It's a gut feeling. I don't work for Hello Games. This is all guesswork, but I'm being asked quite a lot, when are we going to get Worlds Part 2? When are we going to get another expedition? <laughs> Even though this expedition is still running, I'm getting people who are like, oh, okay, I'll finish this one. I want another one. <laughs> the community is hungry for more. Yes, especially those that are legacy players like myself, because at the moment I've got like, what, two choices, really. Um, carry on with my PC save, knowing full well that they're working on cloud saves, which could make that completely redundant. <laughs> or I can go and do new starter guides again even though I've got those videos all over my channel yes there's subtle differences but it, it's subtle it, it's not massive to be fair there's a few nuances that I could cover off I mean freighters I've had a full overhaul I could revisit freighter building although I built a base just the other month so I don't know uh, it's a bit of a tricky one when it comes to content for myself and what do I now deliver in I was toying with the idea of doing a Quest 3D VR playthrough, but I figured, well, I might as well wait till Wells Part 2 drops. So, <laughs> I think right now I'm just going to concentrate on the No Man's Sky meetup that's happening, not this weekend, but next! It's freaking, it's come round so fast! So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm just going to be working on, um, I don't know, maybe doing a few cup of teas with Captain Steve, doing a few offshoots, a few odd videos. But I'm looking for niche things to do in No Man's Sky as well, people. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys today. Just a bit of speculation around timelines. Timelines for No Man's Sky. I hopefully you guys out there in the view of us agree. Yeah. Sound off in the comments if you don't. Sound off in the comments if you do. It's always nice to get some interactions from you guys and read your comments. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the view of us.